Wait, like. Before we go on, there's something I want you to hear. Do you remember what the spirit said about the few shadows? What do you think tried to ha what do you think happened to the magic wielders who tried to rule the sacred realm? They were banished. They were chased across the sacred lands of Hyrule and driven into another realm by the goddesses. It was another world entirely. The antithesis anti thesis of Hyrule I'm sorry. Of Hyrule where the sun shines bright. Its, de its denizens became shadows that could not mingle with the light. Eventually, most came to call it the Twilight Realm, and from it, none could return to the world of light. They were forever doomed to live in the twilight, living in the half light of dusk, mere shadows of Hyrule. This is the history of the twilight, as it has been passed on from our ancestors. Do you now understand what I am? I am a descendant of the twilight that was banished from the twilight realm. That was horrible. Yes, we now know Minda's ancestry. Or lineage, whatever you want to call it. It was a peaceful place until Zent could took control of the Twilight Realm and transformed other Twilight into Shadow Beasts. Okay. It's clear to me now that he somehow gained, gained a great evil power previously unknown to our tribe. In any case, I was sent from there and could no longer get to, into the Twilight Realm without his power. But there's another tale to mind my people. Though the goddesses forbade us to return to the world of light, they left one link between the light and the darkness. Something called the Mirror of Twilight was passed through the protective spiral. It's our only path to the Twilight Realm, and we must get there. Yeah. You'll come with me, won't you? And with that, hi guys, it's LuffyStray551. Welcome back to my Let's Play of Love and Resolve the Twilight Princess. In the last episode, what did we do? We, um, <laughs> we made it to, uh, uh, Lake Hylia. Um, we made it to Lake Hylia. We, uh, got shot out of a cannon. We uh, howled with the Howled Another Wolf duet, and we... We killed a Poe, we killed two Poes, we met Aru, and we got a memo. <laughs> bad pun. And we got shot all the way down here into, uh, Leonard, uh, Gerudo Desert by cannon. And now we are in Gerudo Desert at night time. At night. Okay. Personally, I like Gerudo Desert better at night time because, I don't know, it just seems cooler that way. More puns! I just, I'm just, I'm really naturally gifted at making really bad puns, so please excuse me if you do not enjoy bad puns that seem to just naturally come out of people's mouths. And yes, those enemies are kind of reminiscent of Wind Waker, don't you guys agree? If you've ever played Wind Waker, you might re uh, remember, <laughs> you might remember uh, Mulgara, one of the bosses of Wind Waker, and these enemies are kind of the spitting image of Mulgara, except smaller. And not as lethal. And they don't have the floppy mouth, I don't think. But, aside from that, we need to have our arrows equipped. And I recommend you have them all. Now, if you're, if you're really good with precision, you might enjoy this. 
uh, you might be able to see a, a little bit of a light back there. There's actually a camp full of uh, full of uh, bull bins back there. So if you have a good eye, you're going to enjoy this. But I don't. Not I do, but not from that far back. So let's just see what we can do about it. There we go. Now I can see better. I can barely see him. Ah. See, I'm normally good with this kind of stuff. Here, let me see. There we go. Gotcha. And as soon as that'll happen, uh, they'll realize someone's being uh, someone's ambushing them. With a sneak attack, as Avatar says. And then uh, they will try and mob up on you. I see you, and I'm going to... I don't want to be chased. I'm sorry. At least I think I see you. Yeah, you're right there. There you go, bullseye. Alright, and as soon as that guy's dead... Okay. Oh, I missed one! Fudge! Oh, that hasn't happened in a long time. Nerd! Go die in a hole! Okay. Let's just get rid of this armada. Normally, this hasn't happened to me in a long time. Normally I get rid of all of them in one shot. Okay, you need to get rid of all the bullmans. And then as soon as you do, you know what you'll be able to do? Ride the boar! So, I know, that's really kind of cool. And these these dudes have a wicked speed boost. Here, let me show you what I mean. Alright. Just tap A, and then the thing will go on a wild rampage. And you'll be able to break down, like, practically anything. So that's really kind of cool. But I'm going to stop the video here. I'll see you guys later.